Before I start this video, I would like to say thanks to Pack of Japan that ran their EL6910 safety logic terminal and the IPC to me. Because of this device, I can create this video. Thanks, Pack of Japan. Hello, I'm Fizz. In this video, I will show you how to use Pack of IPC uh, 6920 and their safety logic terminal EL6910 to config a safety project in the text version of our blog i my blog i will show you a little bit more detail of how to configure your step then i just save the whole concept of this string safe but in here i just show you how to configure it from start to start from zero to the end i hope you like this video let's start okay here is the conversation of my tutorial in the left hand side is my backup plc and uh, it's connected by isacat in this is a cat coupler and this one is the safety logic terminal elu look elu 6910 here is a safety input terminal and here's a safety output terminal this is a very simple versions and sorry my wiring and something very dirty let's start okay now is the time to configure our transit project the first of all we need to make sure our connection between our pc to ipc is connected Go to system and show target and plus now you can see we have a connection between my trinket system my trinket ide to the ipc plus ok and first of all we need to switch our ipc to config mode this again okay so go to io device right click and stand to scan the isacat network yes Give me a second. So, which interface would you want to use? I want to use the Isacat interface. Okay, scan for box. Yes. I no need to scan my motor module, my motor terminal. I also don't need the access object. Okay, now you see the terminal one is scan ek1101 and inside ek1101 i do have i have the tutorial that i'm using in this time is el6910 and two input safety input terminal one el1904 then also one safety output terminal el202904 so our next step we need to config a at a safety project go to safety right click add and here's three option here the first i'll use the first option the safety trinket safety project pconfig error egg edit and uh, if the tech system i'll choose safety hardware safety plc if you trinket safe you can also use i think you can also use trinket safety but you need to program by c it's not tutorial i'm i will explain here so i just choose safety hardware safety plc and press ok safety project is insert in your safety project is insert in your trinket system okay we have browse it the first one need to configure the target system click it so what's the target system the target system is actually the safety terminal uh, logic terminal in the default el6900 is used in here we need to First of all, we need to change it to EL6910 and press the add button. And here you find the terminal 5. What's the terminal 5? The terminal 5 is the ESACAN network that we scanned before. The terminal 5 is the safety terminal logic. Press OK. Then some information that you need to take in here the safety version, serial number, and CRC, and also the hardware address. So the hardware address is as a tip switch when you take out your uh, safety um, logic terminal there's a small tip switch in here in this side then you need to on off this to config your safety address in here the uh, uh, safety address is config at 1 no need to care too much and the next step we can import this uh, safety logic terminal into our safety project how can we do it just open your safety project go to safety group one and allies device right click import allies device from io configurators configurations 
For Cricut, you can choose the device that you scan before. Okay, in my case, EL1904 is used, so click it. Okay. It said the input signal, but the terminal is input without any error. Good. So the next step is we can create some safety program. Just click the safety twin safe group one sl dot sl. So here is the editor of twin safe. If you use uh, Siemens before, you you can you know that Siemens can allow you to configure the safety program by using ladder or FPD. But in twin safe, it only allow you to use a FPD. You can. And not like okay, FPD, I think it's something like CFC something, but it's not a big deal. You sh you can do it, and I will not upgrade some so uh, difficult program in my first say train safe tutorial, and I will just use a declub function to get the signal from safety logic terminal, and then use the analog safety and block to output and feedback to our standard PLC. Let's start in the right case. In the right side, then there's two box. Then our first thing I'll do is the safety club. Just end up, uh, select it and drop it. Okay. And the next one is safety and cut, select it and drop it. Good. Now you have two function block in here. There is a small uh, number show in the right hand side. You see. So what is the number? This is execute order. The execute order means when the safety program is running, it will depend on this number to execute which block, each function block first. It's a very important concept that you need to decline your execute order is 100% correct. If not correct, maybe your signal will be delayed over the logic. Although, although you want you create the right logic, the project that the the program cannot run properly. So you need to make sure that the execute order is correct. In my case, I will execute this declub block first, and then execute this end option, uh, end function block. You can also change the execute order by yourself. How you do it? Right click it, and change execution order. Then you just drop it to change your order as you like. Okay, now we can use these two signal into my safety project uh, what can we do? just click it the DEC in one and right click add new labels mm, then you can enter any name you want for example EL19041 channel 1 that's up to you channel 1 just do the same thing EL19041 this first one channel 2 channel 2 yes okay now you insert to create two variables here let's drop it in your end function block and finally go to end out just right it at new variables for example safety and out done okay now you create a function block now this safety club will receive these two signal and pass to a safety and function block and if the two signal is both in true if I'll set this one to true very simple logic okay now we can map the these two safety input channel to between uh, the safety logic terminal go to view other windows available mapping then you will see here a variable tab it automatically show in here these two variable is we added before in here just go to the plus this button and open the trinket safe group one ally device ally device terminal 8 is what we add before right and channel one then choose your channel and channel one channel two done okay now these two variables is linked to the channel one safety logic terminal channel one and channel two but this is not finished we still need to in uh link some some assignment between the safety plc and the standard uh, safety lot, uh, project and the safe uh, standard plc project so go to view and to box uh sorry and uh to path 
and make sure Chinka Safe is activated. When you activate it, you're going to see there's a, some new yellow icon in here. There's a check mark to check here. Then you see more kind of error that is inside your safety project. Now we have two errors. The first one is safety uh, available, safety and out is never used. It means it's available. And the next one is at least one safety output mapping should be configured for children target system. So what's it mean? It's to mean that we need to map here and maybe uh, here it may run stop or something because uh, it is also very concept dif uh, different between Trincat safe, train safe and Siemens that like, train safe although you don't need to assign all the even no need to use all the variables that you inside for, uh, in the safety but in train safe you need to they need to check it very seriously they need to at least uh, make sure that your output is you assign to some variables. They don't need to allow. They don't allow you to let it in empty. So what can you do? Don't worry. We will fix it now. And go to uh, standard PLC, the icon, right click, add new item to add a standard PLC in your project. And go to GVLS and add a new one. Okay, let's configure what kind of variables that we need to use in here. The first one, we need a run stop, right? To trigger the safety group to be run or stop. So what we do, just run stop and add percent, percent Q, star mark and boot. And they don't forget to use this keyword to define your variable as a process IO. It's a very important. Because all the signal mapping between your safety project and standard PLC is using process I/O. And why I use why I put Q in here is because we will use the uh, we will use this signal to trigger safety group to be run or stop. So it should be the input of our safety project and the output of our standard PLC. Clear? Then we need a error back, right? It's the same one as present Q P O O L boot done. The next one we need a input message. Input variable is feedback from the safety the e stop, right? Safety and oh at present I present I star mark boot. Okay. Oh, that's add, not n. So it's some low level mistake. This case also same because we will receive a input safety signal feedback from our safety project. So from the safety project side, it is the output, and from our standard PLC side, it is the input. Okay. After we define it, let's go to build, build solutions. Okay, just build it. Done. And uh, you need to say a, a, uh, something like you get the after you define the process input output, you need to build it again to use it in other side. Yeah. Okay. And go back to our train safe project. The first one you need to add. We need to add some digital input and output to link it. I'll say it. Uh, before do it, let's link the error acknowledgement first. What is what is one? Do, do you remember? Do you remember that we create a safety project with AP conversion error acknowledgement? It is the error acknowledgement is this SDS. It can you can trigger it to you can trigger it to I'll say. To output to you can trigger it to reset the group error. Okay, so what can we link it? Just here is a link link to view here plus the this plus bottom to choose this error act finish. Very easy. Okay, now we need to add the run stop variables. How can we do it? Let's go to the slide uh, slide device right click add new items 
choose uh, digital input right then name it standard maybe uh, run stop something standard in run stop done and click it okay do the same thing choose link to and choose one stop finish okay so now we can link this run stop signal into the good pop but you cannot see it right because we need to link it again create a global variable list again to link this run stop signal to the standard digital IOs okay do just go to GLS and create a GLS in our project break it at add global variable list and here it's just an editor very similar to your standard PLC that plus uh, sorry add one uh, editables and enter your name run stop done and go to here ah oh, sorry and go to go back to your uh, run stop and assignment you think here here align device run stop and align the standard input a standard digital input of your to these uh, safety variables okay and go back to the safety program and run stop and assign this usage to this run stop okay so here is finished finally we need to map this safety safe and out signal go to variables and safety and now click it I think you can and now in here is me second oh sorry we need to create a say digital output first right click it add new items a digit one digital output I will name it as a standard standard our standard our our safety output safety safety and and then uh, click it and also link it to from our standard PLC and here just directly link it to our standard digital IO the finish so now if the mapping seems like okay then we can check our project again good no error let me check again I make sure just make sure everything's good done the next step we can download this project to our PLC uh, to our safety terminal what can we do go to target system as you know need and uh, here is a download icon download it okay so what because oh let me con download I give it the completion again yes the config in run mode Just a second, clear it. Um, okay, just download it again. Yes, okay, we can download it again. Let's download it. The username is administrator. A D M I N I S T T R A T O R. The series number is one one nine eight one eight two, and the password is train safe. On uh, twenty is couple of big big letter. W I N is small letter, and S A F E safe. Is big letter. Next, this be okay. Just complete project. Next, okay. All down the projects download. Then check the I menu. Check the result. Next, and enter the password again. Change save. I think it works. Okay, it works. Just, mm, just uh, okay here. And uh, I think it's okay. Just log in it. Just let the system to run and open our transit groups. And here is a glass of my, uh, icon. Click here. Okay. Now you can see this group is in uh, blue. If a bird message is warning you that the group now is in stop status, you need to trigger it. So what can we do? Let's open the GVLs. 
then go here to trigger this run stop flag Good. now you can see the group is in run status and uh, now you see there's no output right just let me do adjust it a bit easy to see in a second i would like to show you the whole result in the standard plc and also the safety project because good now i will press the e stop uh, i will release the e stop you see the channel is input it's true and they have the output then when i press the bottom again you will see the safety output is down and the signal is bypassed is feedback to our standard plc good here is just a very basic tutorial of my um, string safe series in the next one i'll show you i'll actually use the safety standard safety function block in string safe for example the e-stop and the safety sdr safety some safety uh, function block to show you how to configure safety uh, safety applications this is a very simple, uh, simple tutorial i hope you will have a overview a, a concept of how to configure a safety project see you next time thank you bye bye